गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी माय नेम इज डॉक्टर रुपेश आई एम द असोसिएट प्रोफेसर फिजियोलॉजी वेलकम अगेन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू चेक द हार्ड बॉर्डर्स बाय द वे ऑफ परकेशन सो कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट परकेशन ऑफ द लेफ्ट हार्ड बॉर्डर सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट लेफ्ट हार्ड बॉर्डर इट इज क्वाइट ईजी बट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फ्यू पॉइंट्स वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू चेक फॉर द लेफ्ट हार्ड बॉर्डर you have to first find out the position of apex bead in previous video we have already localized the position of apex bead it is in the left fifth intercostal space over the middle lateral line so i will start from there so once you have localized the apex bead and the intercostal space you have to roll out your finger in the same intercostal space till mid axillary point from the mid axillary point you have to place the pleximeter which is the middle finger of the left hand like this itself in the intercostal space the pleximeter should be firmly placed over the surface rest of the finger should be well lifted then with the plexer which is again the middle finger of your right hand you have to tap over the middle part of the middle phalanx of the pleximeter like this once you are tapping you will get the sound normally over the lung areas or the pulmonary tissue you will get the resonant sound like this once you are getting resonant sound move medially like this again tap it tap it now the sound quality has been changed i am doing it again check out the sound quality resonant resonant now it is turned to be a dull once you are getting the dull sound as we have already seen it coincide with the apex bit you have to mark this point yes we have marked this point now this was in a left fifth intercostal space now moving one space ahead in a fourth intercostal space mid axillary line again we are starting with percussion resonant sound resonant sound resonant sound dull sound here we are recorded the dull sound mark this point again now one space above it is in the third intercostal space mid axillary line resonant 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 dull now we can join all these three points as you can see we have marked this left hard border which coincide with apex bead so this is how we have to find out left hard border now moving ahead to find out right hard border the landmark to find out right hard border it is the again second intercostal space so how to find out second intercostal space jugular notch roll out your finger downwards till you get the bony prominence or the sternum first bony prominence that is the angle of lewis roll out towards right side so this is the feeling or the this bone is the right the second rib below the right second rib you will get the right second intercostal space place your pleximeter in a right second intercostal space such that the middle part of the middle phalanx it comes in a mid clavicular line imaginary mid clavicular line place it then percuss it you will get again a resonant note then move for third intercostal space you will get again resonant note move for fourth intercostal space again resonant note move for fifth intercostal space now here the note has been changed listen it again i am doing it in the fourth again and then fifth it is resonant it is dull so why it is dull it is because of upper border of liver dullness in this case the upper border of liver dullness it is in right fifth intercostal space normally the position of upper border of liver dullness it lies in sixth intercostal space but it varies from person to person so in this case it is in left right fifth intercostal space so we will move one space above 
we will come in right fourth intercostal space mid clavicular line and from this point we will start percussion towards the sternum like this resonant 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 now the note has been changed to dull we will mark this point now moving ahead with the third intercostal space mid clavicular line towards the sternum resonant 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 now dull we will mark this point and when you will join these two points in third and fourth you will find that this line corresponds to the right border of the sternum so from this point we can say the right border of the heart it is coincided with the right border of sternum or the right border of heart right border of the heart it is lying retrosternally or behind the sternum thank you